Replacing front wheel bearings, a step-by-step -step guide. Step one, first, use an air gun to loosen the tire's securing screws. Remove the tire. Use an electric gun to loosen the brake pump's securing screws. Prepare to remove the tie rod end securing screw. Many people don't understand why water is used on screws. In fact, a little bit of water is used to loosen the rust and dissolve the dust on the screws, making it easier to remove them. Next, remove the securing screw of the hub head. Remove the securing screw of the lower arm ball head. Take out the cage. Remove the securing screw of the shock absorber. Take out the shock absorber assembly. Remove the securing screw of the brake disc. Take out the brake disc. Use a hammer to strike the hub head and remove it. Take out the yellow card. Use a hammer to strike the bearing and remove it. Now, let's start installing the new bearing. First, use a small hammer to press the bearing into the rolling element. Then, press the bearing in. Then, install the snap ring. Start installing the hub head. Then, use a jack to press in the hub head. Finally, install the brake disc. Classic case of a common problem, the horn doesn't work in a Baojun 730. Don't rush to replace the horn. First, press the horn and check if the front horn's electric connector is working. This is the corresponding electric connector for the horn. Unplug the connector and trace the wire. Hey, unplug it and connect it with another wire. See if it's a problem with the wiring. Now, let's use a wire to connect it. The horn is working, which means there is no problem with the wiring. Let's check the steering wheel's oil wire below to see if there's a problem. Insert a wrench into the hole. Lift the catch on the airbag. Remove the airbag first. Then remove the catch on the airbag. Then unplug the connector. Remove the securing screw of the steering wheel. Remove the speed limiter. Remove the steering wheel. Remove the cover plate. Now, let's take down the three screws on top of it. Now, let's remove the oil wire. Remove the oil wire. Now, let's unplug the connector. Connect it to see if it works. This proves that there's a problem with the oil wire. Replace the entire oil wire assembly to solve the problem perfectly. This car may experience clutch slippage due to heavy loads, or other reasons. Acceleration is weak. The more you press the accelerator, the slower the car goes. This means that the engine speed can increase, but the car's speed does not. In this case, it is generally caused by severe clutch plate wear. Now, let's take a look at the wear of the clutch plate. Now, let's compare the new and old clutch plates. If the clutch plate is severely worn, but the pressure plate is not, we can just replace the clutch plate to solve the problem. Now, let's start installing the new clutch plate and pressure plate. When installing, 
make sure that the clutch plate is aligned with the center of the input shaft bearing. Otherwise, when we install the gearbox, the D-axis will not align with the center position. If you have any questions about your car, feel free to comment below the video, and we can discuss them with the experts.